All right, in this tutorial, we're going to create a Thanksgiving food checklist in Adobe Buzzword, export it to PDF, and use the Place Multiple Fields dialog to create a column of checkboxes. I'm going to try to do this all within five minutes. The first thing we need to do is go to www.buzz or acrobat acrobat.com www.acrobat.com now you're going to need to sign up for the free account but it's free and you get cool tools so go do it I'm going to find the Adobe buzzword button and choose begin it's going to ask you to log in you're going to type in your email and password to log in after you log in you're going to create a new document I'm going to click on document new from the new document dialog I'm going to add a heading in this case we're going to add the heading thanks giving checklist I'm gonna make it a little bit larger by highlighting the heading coming to the top and choosing a font size I think I'll go with 18 perfect I'm gonna hit enter next thing I'm gonna do is insert a table I'm gonna click on the table button single click on the table click on the little insert table button to insert a table that looks good finally I'm going to add additional rows to add additional rows simply click on the little plus button I'm going to click on the little plus arrow to add a row and then click on the little circular arrow that appears because I want to add multiple rows I'm going to choose insert rows I would like to add oh about 14 rows so I'm going to type in 14 and I want the 14 rows to be below the selected row click OK we now have 14 rows very good now we're going to start building our Thanksgiving checklist through the power of the pause button, I've already created the checklist. I'd like to expand it out a little bit, so I'm going to place my cursor over the right border of our Thanksgiving checklist and drag it out. You can see it's automatically updated. I would like to push this side in just a little bit, so I'm going to grab the little vertical line going down next to my checklist items and push it to the left. Now, I've noticed that I created too many rows, so I'm going to highlight those rows that I don't need when I highlight them this little circular arrow will pop up I'm gonna click on the circular arrow and choose delete rows this checklist is done as and is now ready to be exported to Acrobat I'm gonna click on document up at the top I'm gonna to choose export it's going to ask me do you want to export it as a PDF in this case yes I do notice your other choices Microsoft Word XML files rich text just a cornucopia of choices I gotta get as many Thanksgiving words in as I can I'm gonna choose Adobe PDF I will export comments however I don't have any comments currently on the document click OK click OK again your file download dialog box will open in this case I'm gonna click on open to open it straight into PDF you can see Acrobat 9 has opened up and here is my checklist now converted to a PDF that I built in buzzword we want to add check boxes to the left hand side here so that we can keep track of the items that we've purchased to do this I'm gonna click on the forms dialog and I'm gonna choose add edit fields I click on add edit fields it's gonna say currently there are no form fields in this PDF do you want Acrobat to detect them for you in this case I'm gonna choose no when you choose no the add new fields properties will open up in this case we have no fields yet I'm gonna click on the add new field and choose checkbox I'm gonna close this up so we can zoom in a little bit better I'm gonna drag out a single checkbox after you drag out a checkbox I'm gonna name this checklist that'll work just fine and if I preview this you can now see I have a single checkbox that I can check the items off I'm gonna choose back I'm gonna click back on the edit layout button close this so we can get a better view I'm gonna right click on this item and choose place multiple fields after I click on place multiple fields I'm gonna count how many items or checkboxes I need I need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I am going to choose ten uh, right here where it says copy selected fields down I'm gonna type in ten and click into the next field and you can see I have now have 20 checkboxes that's because we have to adjust the amount of columns I'm gonna take that down to one column you can now see I have checkboxes now with the overall size and the overall position I'm gonna adjust the checkboxes so they fit within 
the given area. So I think I'm going to move these down just a tad and then spread them apart by clicking the up arrow here. Almost done. Maybe at, I send them up just a couple times. It's getting very close. Now you could sit here and mess around with this forever or you could just click OK. That looks fine. You can see I need to make a few adjustments. I think I'll click on oh the first one. Hit my down arrow key on my keyboard a couple times. And I'm just going to click on each field and adjust them using the arrow keys on your keyboard. That looks great. Now if I preview this, you can see I have a checkbox for each of the items. And I can easily check and uncheck the items as I've purchased them. When you're finally done with your form tools, click on the close form editing button and you've now just used the place multiple fields to quickly create all kinds of checkboxes.